One of the hardest parts about web development is just finding good inspiration and figuring out what exactly it is that you want to be building. So in this video, we're going to be looking at some absolutely incredible web design. This is all coming from this website, godly.website, and as they put it, it's astronomically good web design inspiration from all over the internet. So the first website says, think better with reflect. Okay, already I'm amazed by whatever this light thing they have going on with like particles coming into it. Wait, is this, how does this work? Is this a video or is it, let's see, lazy video. Okay, so this is a video. Is a whole thing video? It's not. Okay, so they have like particles that they've added on top of this video. That's super cool. That's creative. I like that a lot. Let's close this, continue on. Then we have this sort of like calendar looking thing. I'd imagine this is like their application. It's like fading into darkness. And does this just play a video? Okay, it does. Let's see, what else do we have? And we scroll down, click to see magic. Click. Oh, I highlighted it on accident. What? Whoa, how is this? It's like coming. I have no idea how this is working, but it's super, super cool. I'd imagine this is probably also a video, but regardless, it doesn't feel like a video. So almost in a way that is like a form of inspiration is like you can use video in a way like this to have it sort of blend in naturally with the rest of the website, sort of like we naturally do all the time using images, but we usually wouldn't think to use video like this, but that's a super cool usage of it. I'm not even sure if this part is a video. I'm assuming it probably is though. Let's see, we have, this thing is cool too. And then, ooh, that's a nice little animation. This whole website oh, it like keeps going for a while. It's just like incredible animation after incredible animation. Whoa, how does that, the way that that like sort of caves in and goes up is, that's, that's incredible. Somebody spent a lot of time on this website. Okay, so that's the first one, absolutely incredible. I think my biggest takeaway from this one is just that you can sort of use video in a way to interact with other elements on the page, which is something I don't think I've ever seen anybody really do. Next, we have this one. It looks like it says Clark. Let's see if we scroll. What? How does this? Wait, so as I scroll up and down, it lets me sort of control how these like cubes are rotating. What? And there's more. Okay, how do these work? Inspect. So the faces of the cubes look like they're different divs. And then they're using like 3D transforms to rotate them. And then they're like animating on top of those faces. That is super cool. Honestly, I don't know that I've ever actually used a 3D transform, but this is such a creative way to display things. Granted, it feels a little bit like it would get frustrating to try to scroll through this website, but just from like a incredible sort of amazing effect perspective, this is super cool. I could see using something like this, maybe like in your nav bar for your logo or something where you use this sort of effect, but it's not preventing you from being able to interact with the website, which is something that's sort of hard to find a balance of sometimes when you're working on these sort of more complex animations and things is that you don't want to take away from just the ability to quickly parse the website. But regardless, this is a super cool effect. And I can't tell, it looks like this might be like a template that you can actually buy. I'm not sure, but regardless, super cool effect. Next we have UI and UX design service for B2B SaaS for, wait, how is this? That's not one, how are they making like a gradient over the text? Inspect. Let's see, so it's just a span. Then there's a background with a linear gradient. We turn that off, it goes away. And then, okay, it's background clip text. And okay, we gotta turn off the WebKit one too. Okay, so it's just this background and then they use background clip text to create the gradient in like the shape of the text. That's cool. Honestly, I didn't know you could do that. So that's a cool little thing to learn. And then these are, Fairly standard animations, but super smooth, well executed animations. Oh, that's cool. That's nice. I don't even know what that is, but it just like caught my eye and I'm a fan of it. Let's see. Ooh, okay. That's cool. And then we have pricing that is expensive. I don't know what this product is. This is, <laughs> this is not an endorsement for this $8,000 a month product, but Good for them if they've built something worth $8,000 a month. But yeah, this is another cool one. I might be using this sort of 
text effect at some point where you add a gradient to the text, that's cool. Let's move on. All right, next with US banking for global up, oh, get Sammy. I don't want to get Sammy, although this is even this little modal is kind of good looking. US banking for global digital professionals request early access. We have sort of like a space theme in the background. Ooh. So as you scroll to the next section, instead of the next section sort of just being a different color, it fades the whole background into that section's color. I will say, I feel like the contrast of this like dark green with the sort of like teal color behind it might be an accessibility concern. Maybe they checked it. Maybe it's more contrast than it feels like to me, but it feels like it might be an issue. But regardless, this sort of effect of the color transition, if I go back up, does it? Yeah, okay, so it goes back to the original black color. And then let's see, some sort of animations, world-class investors, and then, ooh, another transition to the next section. So as we scroll, the sections cause the background color to change. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know that I've necessarily seen this effect either. And I feel like it's sort of an underutilized thing to do transitions with colors and with background colors. It's just like a very simple thing you can do. Um, but it manages to create a very cool and sort of elegant effect. So yeah, big fan of this. Let's see, anything else? It fades to black near the end. And yeah, that's the end of it. So yeah, this one, I think I might try this sort of effect at some point. Okay, so this last one, cool little intro animation. And this almost feels like sort of retro-y in a way. Even like the cookie banner is like retro-y feeling. Let's see, it's telling us to scroll. Is this a button? It's not. I wish this was clickable. I like when the little scroll things are actually clickable. Okay. Ooh, click to play. What is this? It just moves a smiley face around. Oh, wait, I clicked. What is happening? We pre oh my God, is this, a, is this a video? Oh, it's playing a video, I see. So it's like click to play this video. And it sort of like semi full screens it for you. But this part isn't like actually interactive. But at the same time, it's super cool. I wish it was more clear what that was going to do. I thought I was going to be like playing a game or something, but looks like I'm just like watching a video. But regardless, that's cool. Let's keep scrolling. We get some pictures, more pictures. Wait, what was, okay, that's cool. Where like the image gets bigger and this sort of background is changing colors, but not in the way we saw previously where it was actually like fading between the colors. It's just sort of moving that like yellow box thing up, that's cool. Consulting design, production, about us. Ooh, that little text effect was cool. I guess I can't see it again. I wish when I scrolled back up, it would go away so I could re-see the effect, but oh well. And then get in touch. That's kind of interesting, but it feels, I don't know, this feels a little bit awkward to me, but it's interesting. I could definitely see some people really liking it. Yeah, this is a cool, cool website. I especially like just that intro animation we saw as well as this thing here, the way they're sort of showing this sort of full screen style video is interesting to me because it doesn't feel like a video, like it didn't just open up a YouTube player or something. And I can't even control the video, like I can't pause this or anything like that. I just have to watch it, which is a worse user experience, I guess, in an objective sense, like I can't pause the video, but from just like a cool effect sense, it's pretty cool. Just because it's different, it's unique, so yeah, overall, I could definitely see myself taking some inspiration from this website and really all of the websites we saw in this video. Do let me know if you think we should do this again in the future. Make sure to watch this video next.